map markup tools allow you to add text and graphics to your map and they live up in this green toolbar uh, it looks like an A with a pencil through it so I'm going to select that and it brings up this window I'm going to move off to the side here and then uh, remember that you can mouse over any tool that you see and it'll give you what's called a tool tip uh, an indication of what that tool does so anytime you're unsure just mouse over and it'll tell you uh, what that function does. Now we have a whole set of tools from circles to text um, and I'm going to pull out the circle tool here and it's going to pop up a dialog box where I can select a color down below out of this pick list. And so I've selected red and I'm going to zoom into this little boat here and I'm going to click and then just drag outward and it will uh, give me a circle around the spot that I clicked on, centered on that spot. Now I'm going to add some text. So I'm going to click on the A in my toolbox there, and then I'm going to uh, pull up a color, and we're going to make this red also, and we're going to give it a size. And uh, one of the things you have to remember is you've got to click on the number itself. It's a little uh, uh, quirk in Polaris there. So I'm going to type my text into this box here. We're going to call this our boat. Um, and then wherever I click the cursor on my map, that will be the start of this text that will drop in. So there's our text. Uh, we can also draw a line that indicates uh, from our text to our circle where our boat resides. And this is just a click and drag. And uh, you have to remember that when you get to the end of it, you need to double click. Um, you can do a multi-line segment uh, by single clicking, but to end it, you need to double click. So I've drawn my line, and you can see we've got a, a black one. And you can also change the size, and you can also make the line dashed or uh, have dots in it. So I'm also going to add a symbol to this map. So I click on the little symbol icon on the far left here. Uh, we're going to choose a color and we're going to choose a symbol. And for this one, I'm going to choose a star. And we're also going to choose a size. And so we'll make this 16 point. And then wherever I click the mouse now on our map, uh, it'll drop that symbol on top. So I'm going to drop it on top of this gazebo here. And through the magic of editing, it uh, places that on top there. Now I'm going to go through and use a, uh, the box tool or the polygon tool. And I'm going to draw an outline around the tennis court up here. So I'm going to click on my first spot. And then I'm going to drag to my second. And I'm going to drag to my third. And when I'm done, I'm going to double click to end that. And it uh, draws a box around that, that object there. Now sometimes uh, it's hard to drop text on top of the aerial photographs. And it, it makes it a little more um, visually difficult to see. So what I like to do is draw a white box behind uh, my text that I'm going to drop. So I select my polygon tool and I'm going to put a white background with a solid fill behind it and I'm going to draw my box out there. So what I have is a white box and now I can take my text tool and add some text because we're going to be playing tennis at noon and I'm going to add my text inside that box so we can visually see a little bit better uh, the text that we're placing on there. So I'll type that in and then I'll click on the in the white box there and it'll add my text to that. Now that's not quite the place that I want it. So I'm going to remove my last drawn item by using this arrow tool, sort of a swoopy arrow there. And I click on that and it will remove that last drawn item that I've got on there. And so we take that off and we now just have our white box again. So I still have my text set up the way I want it and I'm just going to uh, 
position it a little bit higher in the box there. So still not perfect, but close enough. And that's the map markup tool.